So, hi, I'm Liam, the second mate on the Clearwater, and I'm going to be talking to you today about simple machines and mechanical advantage. There are six classic simple machines, and we'll be talking about two, the lever and the pulley. Uh, but both of these simple machines do basically the same thing. They make hard jobs easier by increasing the amount of distance that you go to get a job done. So, we'll talk a little bit about the equations behind these machines. So. Whenever you're uh, using a machine of any kind, you're trying to get work done. Now, work uh, isn't just something your parents or your teachers tell you to do. Physicists have a very specific definition of work. Work equals force times distance. So, now, say that you have something you need to do. You want to decrease the amount of work that it takes you to do it. So, say you want to cut work in half. Sounds good, right? We all want to do less work. If you want to cut work in half, you can double distance. So, now your algebra. Work, force, force, distance. We want to have half the work. So, you multiply both sides by 2. And we get work equals force times distance times 2, which we could apply to either the force or the distance. I don't really feel like using more force, because uh, I'm only as strong as I am, so I'm going to double the distance. So, and we have the work is force times 2d. Well, how do simple machines double the distance? We can draw a little illustration. Here's a pulley, pulling a weight along the ground. I can double the distance that this pulley moves, quote unquote, by making a rope and back and forth twice. So now, when I'm pulling on this rope, I'm pulling two times as much rope as this distance. That's my 2D, that's my half work. Now I'll show you some examples. First, the two simple machines we're talking about is a pulley. So, pulley increases distance by having more runs of rope going through it, making it easier to lift things. Lift thing, things like Austin. Austin, can you step into this bosun's chair for me? Okay. Right. Send Austin skyward. Yeah. <laughs> this is not too hard. Right now I'm only pulling one-fourth of Austin's weight. This is a four to one pulley. Pull her back down. Back down there. Now we'll try. See if I can do it as a two to one. So I pulled out the rope. Now you can see there's only two ropes between the two poles. Let's so hop back in, Austin. Right. I can't do it! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so before I drop Austin, I'll turn back down. So yeah, when it was four to one, there were four lines that were getting shorter, we're running between these two blocks. I can pick a boss. When there are only two, I cannot pick a boss. The next simple uh, machine that we're going to be talking about is a lever. Now you might say, this is a hammer, not a lever. Well, all hammers are levers if you use them properly. So say I want to drive in this nail. I don't want to hit like this. I may as well just be punching the nail. If I hold it like this, I have a lever arm, and when I move my hand just a little bit, the head of the hammer moves considerably. So I can try the nail with much greater force and try not to hit myself in the thumb. Now say I want to take this nail out, I can also use the hammer as a lever. Catching it back here, and now my lever arm is like this, I'm moving a greater distance with my hand, which means I'm doing less force I need less for us to pull out the nail. And if you look over here at our tool wall, you'll see there's tons of levers. All of these hammers and mallets are levers. A wrench, when you grab the nut, is also a lever. 
And all of these tools for grabbing, pulling, and cutting are two levers that overlap. So yeah, we use a lot of levers here at Quillow. You can think about simple machines like the difference between these two paths. Imagine you're walking up a hill, this little cabin or whatever, and you could take one path where you walk up a bunch of stairs. You go in a straight line. It's pretty steep, so you can imagine that the path is going to be short, and you're maybe going to get there faster, but each step you take is going to be pretty hard because you're going up this steep hill. Or you can take this path, which winds back and forth, and you can see, obviously, it's way longer, but at any given step in the way, you can imagine you're not going to be going up as steep a grade, and so as a result, you're going to be doing less work each step that you take. So it's a sort of longer, easier route, or the shorter, harder route. All simple machines basically work by taking a short, hard route and turning it into a longer, easier route.